So what's up everybody and of course welcome back to Zia FX. It's been a long time guys but I'm back okay. So most people have been asking me hey Miles please make for us a video and people have been asking me what's the source of, what's the source of your profitability. So for if you want to become profitable in trading forex then I, I bet you should watch this strategy so carefully and make sure you use it okay. So if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and of course hit the notification bell and don't forget to check on my tele on my description and join my telegram group. Remember we have a challenge of growing $10 thousand USD, and also we have a challenge of getting funded and of course this video is sponsored by xs one of your one of your leading brokers click the link in the description and of course open yourself a training account and of course you can also purchase yourself an account and get funded from five thousand to three hundred thousand dollars so let's get started guys so when it comes to trading when it comes to trading one important thing that you need to understand is is your strategy profitable before risk management and other things because you must be having a profitable strategy it's like having something that is working you get that if you don't have anything that is working then don't expect money in the market okay now we're going to be looking at euro usd together euro usd together so the first thing that i want you to realize guys is you first look at the the the, the trend of the market and if you look at the trend of the market here you see that the trend is bullish okay the the, the buyers are very strong in the market why is because you can see the river is flowing upwards okay you can just use your eyes and not even your eyes you can also make sure that you mark your higher highs at least mark your higher highs like three to confirm the trend mark at least three high highs to confirm that the trend so i confirm that yes the trend is bullish so i'm not going to be trading against the trend now let me tell you one simple secret it's not wise to trade against the trend okay it's always good to trade in line of where you're going if the river if if, if the trend is bullish and of course look for mainly bullish opportunities if the trend is bearish and look for mainly bearish opportunities now for this point we had something like this i want you to realize something you want you to look at this point that I'm going to be marking. Now, why am I marking this point? This was our low. Price was falling down. Price was falling down. As you can see, price was falling down. Then we had a low here. This was our low. And after the low, we have a retracement. After this low here, we have market makes a retracement to this point. Then, of course, comes back to the previous low. Okay, so this point is becoming a resistance point because why is price respecting this one? It's not breaking it, but it's respecting. Then again, we have another another pullback. That is a correction zone. Then again, again, price comes back to the previous to the previous low. Okay, so we have three touches, and I want you to, I want to draw exactly what you see, and then you tell me what you see. Okay, the first touch was like this. That's the first low. Price was coming first low. We have a pullback. Okay, you get that? Second low, we have a pullback. Another low, then price moves. Now, why is it that this pullback here is longer than this pullback here? Now, when you look at that, there's something that should come to your mind. We all talk about momentum in the market, bullish momentum and bearish momentum. Now, when you see that this pullback here, I told you those ones who wanted to know this, if you want to know about the strengths or the momentum of buyers and sellers, you can also use retracement points to know. The, and that's very good in retracement key levels. If you don't know about retracement key levels, make sure you, you search online and make sure you know about retracement key levels and round numbers, okay? Round numbers will help you to know significant changing points like retracement points. We get that. So now why is it that after this, after this law here, we had a small pullback. This pullback here, this one here, is shorter than the, this pullback here. So that tells you that the buyers are kind of gaining strengths in the market. The buyers are gaining strengths in the market. Okay? The buyers are gaining. Now, I want to show you something where effect moves come. Let me tell you where effect moves comes in the market. Remember, this market is manipulated so much. That's why you need to understand. Now, what is effect move? Now, let's say people, you've seen that, yes, price is moving up you start buying from here or you start buying from here okay yes the, 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 the trade is the trade is good for you because it's really a buy but look at this move here this is look at this move here many people lost money because of this you can see i told you one thing guys let me tell you one secret about the market the, the real trend, the real trend is gradual and slow. When I say gradual and slow, it is slow, it takes time. That's why if you're going to catch a real big trend, a real big trend, you have to be patient and wait over the market. But I want you to look at all this movie, this long one candle here. You get that? 
So you know, this one was just as like, it was just, a, it was just like a move to catch people's money. You understand that? A move to trap people, a move to induce, let's say it a move to induce sellers because there are people who trade using momentum and when they see this type of candle, candle they say like, yes, the bearish momentum is so high, let's sell. It's also used to trap them, to induce them to and enter, start entering sell positions. Yet the market is really bullish. Then those ones who enter that market from you, of course, your stop loss would have hit, okay? Because let me tell you, when you see a very fast move in the market like that, okay, that is a trap zone. It's there to collect liquidity. You understand that it's a trap zone. So you have to understand and make sure that you know which zones you should be watching up to, the zones that you should never be trading, okay? When you watch them, know what is happening in the market, who is being targeted and who is not being targeted and who has already been targeted, okay? Now, I want you to realize one thing. You see what we have already named here. I want to, let me first draw something here. Uh, I mark something here. You see this, this structure here. Okay. We have this structure here. Let, let me say, let me say it's like that. Okay. It's like that. This was a touch. Another touch, then the next touch, and then, then the, the resistance remains the same. This is our resistance zone. You see me putting a black line? That's our resistance zone because price is touching so many times, but it's not breaking. Whenever you see price touching a point so many times, price is touching a point so many times, like let me show you. When price touches a point so many times but does not break that point, it becomes a resistance. You understand? It becomes a resistance zone because price is not going below that point. Now, the second thing that I want you to realize is we had now price started moving high. Now, after this, you see that price is going to be moving high, okay? Because we have already detected that, yes, the bullish momentum is gaining strength. Now, we start marking our main highs. That was our high. Now, if that is our high, we also saw another high here, okay? Then we also have another high here. Now, you notice one thing in the market that if you're to see this high and this high and this high, this high here is steeper, meaning the buyers were more stronger. It's steeper than this high. You see this high up to this high? It was just a small move, but this one is so steep. Make sure you see that. I want you to see this high here. It is very steep, and this one, this one is almost like flat, not very steep. So you can know the buyers, there was so much momentum here for buyers. You get that. Now, I want you to realize one thing, guys. When price is moving high, if this is your high, we have a pullback. These pullbacks are called correction zones. Remember, the market does not move straight. It moves like this. You get that. And anything, a market can, that's why market is there to confuse you. You can see that move. You don't, let me tell you, people, market does not just move like this. No, 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 no. It can either move like this depending on the, the the money that in the market depending on who who is in the market you get that because it's what why, why the reason why market moves like that is it's all about targeting your money you get that so you see this retracement here okay that is now your support region why do i call it my support region it's because price gains more momentum from here to push price to the next high then again another support here to push price to the next high then again another support here to push price to the next high Okay, so all these points that you see here, here, these are our support points. If you don't call it support points, okay, we call it correction zones. It's correcting price to the new to, to the real trend. This is just a retracement, a correction zone here. It's a correction figure, significant figure, pushing price to the next high. You get that? So you're gonna mark all your support points. Make sure you mark the correct support points and make sure you trade what you see. If you don't see something and you feel like it's not the real support point, make sure you can leave that, okay? Only mark only your support points. Only your support points. Only your support points. Let me show you an example. Only your support point. Now, if I'm, you see the support points, uh, because they're all aligned in one, 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 one point, if I'm marking all my support points, you get that. You see that? That's all my support point. Now you realize one thing that the market is doing here, that we have we have the tip here. This is the tip of the market now. That's the way the market has reached. That's the tip of the market. And we're expecting a rejection from this point. But it's always good to say that trade what you see, okay? We expect a rejection at this point. And I'm gonna tell you why I'm seeing a rejection at this point. And I'm gonna tell you why I'm seeing and anything can happen in the market. Why? You realize that this is an exha exhaustion point. Why am I saying exhaustion point, guys? Because you see rejection, rejection candles at the tips. 
okay it's an exhaustion point okay so what we expect you expect market to move here but if market breaks of course that high then it will still continue to make more highs okay it will still continue to make more highs but you realize one thing that we also had a tip here in the market here you get that we also had a tip there in the market but we are not over considering it right now we are considering this point this is a very significant price level right now and what we're expecting is now here so what you as a trader you should do is that two things that you should wait for one thing is that two things if price breaks this high and moves up then you trade alongside that direction okay but it only calls for patience if price comes back up to this previous support that i've drawn you guys i've showed you guys and rejects this support rejects support then you can still buy okay but if price breaks this support if candles breaks the support then you can do what you can now sell if price breaks this support then you can now sell it's just like having a building and 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 those buildings have got pillars that support the house now if those pillars have been chopped off it means that there's no support for the building so it will automatically fall it's the same thing like this now if this thing, if, 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 if it falls down, it's automatic that it has to come up to the previous resistance. Then we start seeing what can easily happen there, up to the ground level where it started from. Just like when something is falling, it falls up to the ground. This is, this is the, 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 the main resistance. Then when price reaches the main resistance, we can see and start building a new thing. You get that? So that's how easy it is to break the market structure. And of course, is it to trade? You get that. But it only calls for patience. If you're going to be patient and you make your analysis the way I've done, then I guarantee you one thing, it's you're going to be a profitable trader. Being a profitable trader is also all about patience because you're going to wait for your, you have to wait for, for your what's your, your possibilities because, because you can't just, you can't just put a trade here when nothing has happened, you have to wait for your possibilities that yes, price has to come here and I see what, what's the reaction from here. These are your reaction points. These are your points where you look for entries. These points here that you see, like this black line, those are your main main key points, main key points, okay? Including this red line, these are main key points. You get that, main key points. So make sure, make sure you understand and make sure you only value what I'm telling you and make sure what you can do is back test, of course. And of course, if you think this video has been helpful to you, please leave a comment. And of course, leave a comment the video you want me to make. And of course, don't forget to join my Telegram group and be part of the winning team. Thank you, guys. I wish you all the best. Don't forget this video is sponsored by XNES and my Forex funds. You can be a funded trader. And those ones who want to get funded, of course, we have a challenge for you of getting funded. $5,000 to $100,000 only. Don't, we don't go beyond $100,000 for now. Thank you, guys. I wish you all the best. See you next time. I hope you're going to be profitable now. Bye.